Ladide Kumaro's court appearance calls the a steal on social media due to the contradictions in the story. Her claims raised the eyebrows among the public as she stated that she had a mental block and was unable to call the police on the emergency number 10111 after the invaders left. However, she managed to phone a neighbor's who tempered with the crime scene before the South African Police Services SAPS arrived. This discrepancy in her account is of the skepticism among South Africa. During the court proceedings, Kumaro recounted how she managed to hide her phone from the intruders who were demanding money and telephones from Cezo Mayor and other present during the incident. Allegedly seeking refuge in a bathroom within a property, she was left in a state of shock after the burglars departed and could not recall the SAPS image number. While her explanation may seem plausible, the public remains and convenience. The tragic backdrop of this situation revolved around Senzo Mayua, who was engaged in an affair with Landile Kumaro while being in a relationship with the mother of his child, Kel Kumaro. Furthermore, it has come to light that Senzo had engaged in sexual encounters with both Kel Kumaro and Zandile, with the entire Kumaro family being aware of this indiscretion. The fateful incident occurred while all parties involved were present, resulting in the loss of sense of Mayua's life during the suspected burglar. Amid the details presented in court, one particular aspect of Zandile's statement caught the attention of observers. The fact that she failed to contact the SAPS, instead she sought assistance from her neighbors. Maggie Peel, one of the neighbors, interfered with the crime scene by removing alcohol cans before the arrival of the police, thereby making it difficult for investigators to determine the exact number of individuals present in the house that day. The public's reactions to Zandile Kumaro's testimony have been marked by skepticism. Contradictions in her narrative, such as her ability to contract a neighbors but not emergency services, have raised doubt about the veracity of her claims. Furthermore, the liberations surrounding Zenzo Mayua's personal life and the involvement of both Kel Kumaro and Zandile in his extramarital. Of both Kel Kumaro and Zandile in his extramarital marital affairs have added a complex layer to the case. As the court proceedings continue, it remains to be seen how the evidence will be weighed and interpreted, the conflicting account and the actions of individuals involved, including Zandile Kumaro and Maggie Peel, will be subjected to scrutiny by the legal system. The outcome of the trial will determine the extent of accountability and justice in this tragic incident and has captivated the attention of the South African public.